store. Miss Betty used to own the store on Orange and Likes on the corner. So she was like my best friend. Why was she your best friend? Because she used to give me free cookies all the time. <laughs> This block here, I remember this block where actually this building we stand in front of used to be a bar. It used to be called Hang Five. You know, and on down the street here, this where this lot is, used to be all kind of apartment houses. And on the end was a bar called Giannis's. Yeah, it was a bar, somebody else's house, and then my grandmother's. And the, look, this is the barber shop. This is a beer did. And this is the one that got caught on fire. Oh, the garage is, the, it, it was a longer garage at one point. This, I, somebody did live here at one point. There was a house at the corner all the way down, but they knocked that down too. And this brown one's the only one somebody lives in. And on top of the store. How do you feel coming back? Different. I don't do this usually. I don't sit here and talk about what used to be here. Um, I've been here 10 years and I've seen 420 knocked down. That's a lot. That's almost one a week. I mean, there are some that do need to be de demolished, but after, you know, again, after seeing 420 get demoed in the last 10 years, when do we stop hemorrhaging that and when do we start rebuilding? We need to just inventory those buildings that are salvageable. If they are in a, a, a risk situation and perhaps too costly or unavailable for being fixed, we need to know that, but we need a strategic plan that documents inventories, the buildings. I think that, you know, housing being a basic core need of human life, the housing agencies at, from the federal level over to the state have got to be equipped with the, again, an urban plan because our cities are worth saving. With the school right around the corner, my main concern was for this area, when we had those abandoned buildings, was public safety for the kids. You know, uh, my biggest fear was these kids walking to school and somebody coming out of one of those abandoned buildings grabbing one of them kids. You know, and that was a public safety issue for me. So that's why I worked real hard to make sure we tore down those abandoned buildings. <laughs> no one's gonna pay a thousand dollars to live on Lexington Why in not? Orange. Why not? Look at it. You would pay a thousand dollars to live over here. A lot of people are afraid what they call gentrification and um, a building, for instance, in Harlem, be you know fifty thousand dollar building, and the next thing you turn around, they put a little bit of improvement in it, and somebody's selling it for two million dollars. But here, locally, our real estate values have never gone sky high like that. But a lot of people invested in vacant buildings, thinking that would happen, so they would just hang on to it, not take care of it, and sell it to somebody else later for a much higher price. It removes the people who live there and because they can't afford it any longer. He just did this though, because this was abandoned for the longest. Like I remember when I was younger, I stepped on the back door of it and the nail went through my foot. He just fixed that. I didn't know they was fixing that. I used to just cross the street and come to this grandmother's house. That building was abandoned for four years before they knocked it down. It's just a lot it brings back. I never went down the street to talk about it. some of the first signs of hope when people sit down and care and start doing things, planting flowers. I think there's a lot of hope here. And there's some good building sites now too. We have Christian Memorial Church around the corner who's also investing in this neighborhood. And they're steady rebuilding. So there, there's some partnerships in this area that wants to rebuild this community. 
and we're working on that. So I see a lot of hope for this community. We're at our best when we work from ground up, when it percolates from a grassroots effort up, we then get the best results because people want to take back their community. They want ownership. And let's make it happen. Let's make it our shared vision. Let's make it our shared mission uh, to revitalize and rebuild. You know, one of the things I said when I ran for office was that I'm going to rebuild neighborhoods. I started with the Sheridan Hollow working my way up. So I'm in the next phase right now, coming up this way with West Hill, rebuilding. This house is cold and empty, just a ghost of who I, I used to be. Stay.